Hello my scrappy friends, it's Miss Shaw with Stamp Burker and I am here today with, uh, to celebrate a fellow YouTuber named Cassandra Tooth who is celebrating 500 subscribers. So today, um, that is what I'm doing and there will be a playlist and everyone linked down below so please check everyone out. Now I know you can see I have a mess around me. Um, I've been trying to pull all these colors and uh, it just gets to be kind of a mess. So um, I'm using this paper from Happy Days from Coco Vanilla and I did sprinkle some of my uh, Close to My Heart clear shimmer brush on it and you probably can't see it. It does add a nice shimmer. And then I decided to scrapbook a couple of photos. These are the same day. Um, I just searched for rainbows in my iPhone photos. I know you can also search in Google. And um, a bunch of rainbows came up. Even like photos I have with rainbow as a word. It's really quite interesting. So, um, I'm thinking I printed these out with on my Epson Picture Mate and I used the print to size app and I printed them at two and a half by three and a half and then I added and then I just cut so the white border is actually the photo paper. Alright, so I have these two photos. And then I pulled this card from Vicki Booten's Color Study. I thought it matched really well. And I thought about putting it here. And, and then I have this little card from the Cut Apart for Happy Days. And then basically this is my title, Love, Love, Love This Life. And I think I'm going to move it down a little bit. I won't glue anything down yet. I also have these little cut aparts. And I thought about putting one. So I'm going to try to do like color blocking. So I'm not sure if I want to use one that stands out against this teal aqua color or, um, one that blends in and which one to use look at the bright side nothing but blue skies perfectly wonderful don't worry be happy oh what a beautiful day sunshine of my mind all the good things you brought in my world all so all of it matches right okay so i just have like some embellishments from happy days like this and then some, I'm not even sure where they're from, to be honest. I was just kind of color matching. And, um, let's see. I have a rainbow viewfinder from Yes P Please Paper Crafts. I was thinking about putting it about here. Let's see. This will probably go here. Um, I was thinking about putting the sticker here. Um, this embellishment here. A vellum butterfly here. Some of these actually came from um, my friend Kelly Pyron. She brought a bunch of embellishments she no longer wanted out of her color drawers to a retreat last month and I had so much fun. So here I have a mixture of stickers, of um, vellum, I have acrylic and I pulled out some other acrylics here but I then I found the uh, frosted one. These are both close to my heart, but I felt like I liked the frosted one better. And then I just found these acrylics. 
and um, I'm not sure. Oh, and I also have, where'd it go? I have a bow I could use too. I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's see. Um, I have this yellow, let's see, let's get this down a little bit more. Yellow bicycle there to go on the yellow. And this butterfly here. I thought about putting a brad. I have some other brads I have. Let's see. have this yellow brad. Let's just lay it down. And then just kind of want to stagger everything. Let's see. Have more orange. And have another orange brad here. Kind of there. Um, let's see. I also have this shimmer trim, and I thought it might kind of look good right under that. Of course, if I do that, then what do I put here? So I gotta think about that. Okay, I have some metal. Let's see, I think this is the wrong color of hmm, let's see, there's more than one color. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Love. Oh, I think it's too dark. It's really a tulip color, which was like a pinkish red. And then that is too orangey, maybe. But I obviously have a bunch here I need to use up. And I have a greenish one here somewhere, I believe. Let's see. I did have one. And I have orange, red. Let's see here. Let's see. I think the yellow is too bright. Um not those and then I do not know where oh, that other one went this yellow might work there and let's see here's the one that I had here Those are really old. It's so exciting to get them used up. And then I pulled some other things. Um, I just kind of went through to find different. There's a green. Maybe I should go down there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Or a yellow butterfly. Um, I think I need more green. Put this green right here. Um, this pink flower. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like this one didn't show up. Um, these are cute. Maybe it could go... Like, here. If I need this one or not. All right, more pink. And this one could actually, I don't know about the bow. It matches, but that doesn't mean it, you know, necessarily fits in with the theme, right? There. And then I have these butterfly, I mean, these a rainbow, not sure. Mm -hmm. Let's just go ahead and cut this. And then we'll know. When I'm cutting, trying to cut straight, I think it's helpful to use those big scissors. It is for me at least. Okay, let's see. Then I could put the rainbow. Maybe this, and it could go over here. I also have these two cute little brads, adhesive brads, and one's a rainbow and one's a butterfly. So this one could go on pink, and this one could go on blue. Um, about here and then I also have I pulled out sequins um, let's see sequin thingy grabber And then I have these wild berry ones from Close to My Heart that are kind of like a pinkish purple. And um, I'm hoping they'll match this color from here. Okay, let's see, because I don't have anything that color. two different colors right there. Let's see. All right. There. There. I'm not sure I have any navy blue. We'll have to see. All right, and I also have these. I don't think I need them. 
Okay, let's see. I do have these blue bell ones. Let's see how dark they get. Let's see. Oh, I think it'll work. Uh-oh. All right. So, have you ever made a layout like this where you've I think it's called color blocking, where you put the same color on the color. This is really my first time, and so I'm sure, you know, the next time I'll be better at it. Let's see, I didn't need room any of those anyway. All right, and then I have this set from Craft On or something like that. And oh, and I also have my adhesive ones. So let's see what we have here. See, there's this blue. But I think I like the blue bell better. Okay, and there's a really light pink. Okay. I can get these pink ones out and put it in this darker pink. That does seem to be a little bit darker. Let's look at this one. That one is not as dark. Well, maybe it is. This one there. Stagger them. Um, let's see. I'm like, where am I going? Here we go. Here's a pink one. I mean, how do you ever go through all these sequins? Um, I guess unless you make shaker pockets, which I used to do a lot, um, more on my cards, but I haven't made shaker pockets in a very long time. I think I need to do that soon. I have some shaker pockets. I have my own acetate now. Okay, let's get that darker pink. Here's one. Okay, and then I have... these that are adhesive that I'm trying to work my way through. Let's see, I put one here and here and then maybe one there. All right. And then I have these yellow ones. stray one. Where did it come from? Nobody invited it. All right. This one needs another pink one. Okay, I think these came from here. All right. Come on. Oh, that is not the same. Maybe I got it from this one. I'm forgetting where I'm getting my stuff. Oh, you know, these look really purple too. 
go. We're going with the pink. This color right here. There we go. Okay, maybe another one there. All right, let's move that up. All right, now I don't really have orange, orange, but I do have these that I'm hoping when I get it on the orange, it will kind of, <laughs> that they'll look okay. I think so. They're kind of an orangey, they're more of a peach. But you gotta use what you got, right? And that's what I got. Oh, and I could use this somewhere. Cause I feel like there needs to be a little bit more orange. Could go there. All right, and then how about there and here. Okay, so I have darker pink, lighter pink, orange, yellow, I need green. Um, okay, yes. Now, these are a little bit more green than these. I don't think I have any green. Unless you go with this. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see, are there some? It's not that dark teal. <laughs> I wonder if these would go here. Oh, they do, they do. All right. There we go. And then over here. And oh, we could fill up the that white with some white ones again. little one right there okay so I think I've got it all right let's see purple blue teal aqua green the green just doesn't have any shh don't tell anyone What do you do? What do you do? Go back and look at your book. And when you can't find any, then you pull out something else. I doubt. Anyone will be looking and going, oh, look at that. She doesn't have green sequins. I'm going to put these on. Look how cute they are. All right. And then there's a polka dot one. Then a striped one. Right. Okay, so I think I will glue all this down and I will come back. Okay, I've got everything glued down or punched through. Um, it's kind of a busy layout, but I think I like it. Um, it's not my normal style, but sometimes it's good to get out of your comfort zone, right? Um, I'll probably put the date down here somewhere. It was May, I think 2019 I saw on my photos. So I'll go ahead and do that when I get off camera. Before I forget, I will have still shots and close-ups after, uh, the video ends. Thank you so much for, um, liking my video and subscribing to my channel please leave me a comment down below i read all my comments and i 
enjoy reading them. All right, have a great day. Bye.